What's going on everyone and welcome to the second installment of interviews that we have for Black History Month. Today we are joined by Karen Walker, a community organizer that has brought together over 8,000 individuals on a group discussing conservative values in the African American community. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Karen Walker. My name is Karen Walker. I created a Facebook group called Black Conservatives for Truth. This was back in, uh, during the election of 2016. Um, before I created the group, I had never been active in politics, although I had always been a voting Republican. Um, my group grew to be about 8,000 members, and there were quite a, uh, quite a bit of people from um, the Atlanta, Georgia area. So someone contacted me, actually his name was Shelly Winters, and he says to me, you need to become involved in uh, Georgia politics. And I went to a Georgia Black Republican Council meeting, and from there I met other people. Um, I became involved in the 6th Congressional District because I live in Fulton County. I joined the 6th District Committee, the Fulton County GOP, and from there it just kind of avalanched. Um, it was really good to meet like-minded people, people who had the same ideas, the same values, the same interests as I did. And um, it really happened simply because I decided to, join, uh, to create a Facebook group where black conservatives could talk about issues that are important to us from a Republican perspective. The values that I have actually came from my parents. Growing up, my parents were both Democrats, but they were conservative. Uh, so it wasn't that um, I didn't decide to become a Republican because I felt that the values per se were different. Um, when I was growing up, most Democrats were very conservative anyway um, from all types of social issues during that time. I decided to become a Republican because once I became married, I just started paying more attention to what's going on in the world uh, about our finances, uh, social issues, the economy, education. And the more I researched, the more I read, I realized that my beliefs, my values, my policies more aligned with the Republican Party. And I decided to vote the way I believe. My parents were definitely my role models. I didn't have um, a Republican role model or anything like that. Um, growing up, if you were to talk to my parents, you would just assume that they may have voted Republican or that they were center right. Um, so my parents always taught me to be myself and to do what is right for me. And when I told my parents that I was going to become a Republican, um, you know, particularly my mother, she did not necessarily agree, but she respected my opinion. She respected my decision. And she told me that's what she taught me to do. She taught me to think for myself. She taught me to research and to decide what is best for me. And from that perspective, she is immensely proud of me, even though we have different political beliefs. I receive questions all the time from fellow black conservatives about how to deal with family members who may have a different uh, political alignment. And the only thing that I can say is that you just have to respect their beliefs and just ask that they respect yours. So for my position, I don't believe that you should tell uh, a family member who is a Democrat that you know, they're thinking the wrong way or what they're doing is wrong because we wouldn't want them to tell that to us. I believe the best way that you show um, the right po uh, policy or the right path to take politically is just by how you live your life and how you respect others. So, um, at least from my perspective, it hasn't been very hard with my family. It's been harder with friends, but with my family, they really do appreciate 
Um, when both of my parents decided to vote for Barack Obama during the 2008 elections, you know, I didn't get upset. They knew I thought very differently. But when I look at my parents and the time that they were raised, both of my parents never thought that they would see the first black president elected. You know, my father, uh, he grew up, both of my parents grew up in the civil rights movement. My father was shot during the civil rights movement three times and he survived. And he never thought he would see a black person elected. So for him to see uh, Barack Obama, even though I have a immensely different policy belief, I wasn't upset with them. And I would hope that they are not upset with the way I vote either. When I created the Facebook group, the purpose was to have a place where black conservatives can talk about issues that are important to us, but to also have a place where those who are centered or right-leaning, um, for them to just have conversations to talk about us, talk to us about issues that are important to them also. I think the, the thing for the Republican Party is that we need to expand the tent. And the only way that you can expand the tent is to talk to people and to listen to others. And within my group, that's what we really focus on. We focus on listening to the needs of others, to their thoughts, what they agree with and what they disagree with, and talk to them from a Republican perspective, Republican ideas, uh, so that they can type, sort of visualize what their life could be like um, if they considered policies that are conservative. The best part of creating Black Conservatives for Truth is that um, we get to meet like-minded people. Even though I reside in Georgia, our group has members from all over the country, um, especially here in Georgia. So what we created when, uh, a couple years ago was a meetup group where we had people um, to come to Atlanta and we all met together. We all talked about uh, policy issues and just uh, networked and conversed and we had a really good time. I had so many people who came that I, I didn't even know they were in my group. And many of them said, I joined your group and I came to visit with you in Atlanta because I didn't know there were so many black Republicans. I didn't know that there were out there. From Atlanta, so many people would come to events that I would hold, and they said, you know, I, I came here because I'm a Republican, I never knew that there were anyone else, and I'm not active and I want to be involved. So the best way, I believe, for people to be involved, whether you're black, white, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter what your race is, is to be seen and to be out there. And when you're out there and, you see, and you're seen, you draw like-minded people, they come towards you and they too become active. There are many, many, many black Republicans now that were not active. They are very active because they joined the group. My father was shot during the Civil Rights Movement in 1968 at South Carolina State University. Um, they call it the Orange Bird Massacre. They, the students were protesting a segregated bowling alley. And there, um, the students were having a bonfire right outside the campus and about 150 National Guard came with fire hose, dogs, and um, they started spraying the students. And as the students were running, it's about 100 or so students, um, my father was shot three times and he survived. He doesn't talk about that, 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 that day very often. I, I think it is emotional. Um, but when I think back at that day, during that time, you know, if he had not survived, I would not be alive. So I'm thankful that he did. But that was a very long time ago. And when I look back from 19, or, you know, think back from 1968 and read about that time, and talk to my dad to see where we are now. As a nation, we have really progressed. We've really come a long way. And when I think about Black History Month, I think about the progress that we've made. When I think about Black History Month, 
I think about all the people who have come before us so that we can be where we are right now, so that we can have the freedoms to have the choices that we make right now. To be able to say, I want to support Black History Month or I don't want to support it. I wanna be a Republican or I don't wanna be a Republican. The point is, is that they fought during those times so that we can have the freedoms to do what we believe is best in our lives. And that is one of the reasons why I vote Republican. I believe the Republican Party can more effectively outreach to the black community simply by listening to what their needs are. Oftentimes, when we talk to someone, we come with a solution for them already. We come with a, this is why you're having this problem. This is what you need to do to solve your problem. And it is very difficult to tell someone or give someone a solution um, for issues that they may rarely or never experience. So from that perspective, I think it's best to just listen to what people say, listen to their needs, and then apply policies that will solve them and allow them to decide what the work is for them. If I were talking to a black individual about the Republican Party <clears throat> or, or joining Republican, I would just simply ask them what's important to them. How important is education for you? How important is the freedom of school choice? That if where you live, if you're not happy with your school, that you could take your children someplace else without having to move. That you are not, where you live does not define how your children are educated. You know, is, is that important to you? Is healthcare important to you where you know what's best for yourself on what type of health care you want to have. If taxes, um, what do you feel about taxes? Or lower taxes, do you feel that is best for you? Do you want the government to more decide what is best for you and your lives and your families? I personally believe that the government knows no more than anybody else on the street. No one knows what's, more, what's best for your life more than yourself. No one is more invested in you than you. The Republican Party offers that freedom. It offers that freedom, and that's what I would tell them. Do you want to be free? Do you want to be free to make these type of decisions? Do you want to be free from government? Big government cannot solve individual problems. That is very important. I would tell them that, and then they would have to decide what that looks like for them. And I'm not gonna tell them that they must automatically become Republican and vote Republican in every single thing. If I can get you just to vote Republican for your local school board, a Republican there, if I, had, if I can start just in small areas, that's great for me. I'm not gonna turn you away from voting Republican because you don't consider yourself a Republican. I personally believe that if you get the ear of them, of anyone in one area, they will be more open to listen to you and others. And that's how I approach anyone. Actually, whether you're black or white, it really doesn't matter when I talk to them about the Republican Party. You can um, find Black Conservatives for Truth on Facebook, and that is our name, Black Conservatives for Truth. We also have a website, blackconservativesfortruth.com. Um, our organization is not just for black people. It's anybody who is interested in talking to us and sharing with us. We speak from the perspective of what is important to black people, and, and often what's important to us is, is important to everybody else. But there are certain issues, there are certain um, beliefs and um, things that we deal with that pertains predominantly to our community. And if you're really interested in just learning and sharing, you know, we welcome everyone.